Halo Infinite walkthrough. This is the outer world, not the outer world, the overworld area of our next objective. So once we finished the conservatory, we were told we have to come around and shut down these uh, command spire things, whatever they're called. They, they have a name to them, but there's three of them. I think they're the gun batteries. They're the anti-air gun batteries. That's the one I'm looking for. <laughs> so there's three of them and we're going to do them in no particular order. And as usual, I'm going to cut out the traversing between them because it's just open world walking and there's not really anything special. So look on your map to uh, see where they are and then walk to them. Try not to die on the way there. And once we get here, that's where we're going to have to deal with a couple of different enemies. So one of these batteries, which happened to be the first one that I went to, is going to have hunters and as I mentioned before hunters are pretty annoying on legendary and they're not alone right now they are surrounded by a bunch of other enemies and this might be the last or one of the last times that we actually get to uh, see hunters alone at least that first time that we fought them in the spire I guess later on in the game they'll send them at you in pairs sometimes but not too often usually when you see hunters from now on they are going to be uh, surrounded by other friends. So I'm coming back here because I thought I dropped a weapon and I was looking for it. And I guess I probably should have cut this out, but it does let me ramble a little bit. So <laughs> I'm not going to worry too much about it. I think I was looking for my battle rifle because I ran out of ammo. But something that's kind of annoying is if a weapon has zero bullets in it and you drop it, it disappears. So even if you want to save that weapon for later, you need to have at least one bullet in it so it will remain on the ground. And as long as you don't fast travel away, it usually will stay on the ground. So uh, I was looking for that, didn't find it, and I was thinking it would help me kill all of the grunts and the jackals and stuff like that that are surrounding the hunters. And I'm kind of just wondering, what the heck do I do now? So I think I'm... <laughs> I think I couldn't give up. I think I really wanted that battle rifle, so I'm wasting a lot of time looking for that thing that I'm not going to find. And we're also getting some more screen glitchiness. That's just kind of what happens when you are uh, <laughs> playing Halo and trying to record it sometimes. So, um, we're going to come back. I just accepted my fate, and as I mentioned in the previous video, I think needlers are very good at killing hunters, but it does take a ton of magazines to kill them. And man, we are getting a lot of the screen lagging here. So, uh, we're going to try to kill these enemies first. Me running around like an idiot to kind of give them a chance to uh, spread out and not be so near the hunters. And if you notice, there's all kinds of boxes surrounding the hunters. Like, they are everywhere. So we can try to shoot those to damage the hunters, and on easier difficulties... Man, the screen hitchiness is really bad. <laughs> Sorry about that. Anyway, if we're on easier difficulties, that might kill them, but it's really just going to tickle them on Legendary. And I'm going to try to kill mo uh, most, as many of these normal smaller enemies as I can, because I really just want to make sure that I deal with only the hunters, and I don't have to deal with the smaller guys. So I'm going to use a pulse rifle. I lost my battle rifle, so the pulse rifle is my only real um, precision weapon. And it's not really a precision weapon, but the enemies in this game don't move very much, so it's pretty good at taking out faraway enemies still. And then we're going to run up here. I think there's still some grunts, and we saw an elite, or maybe it was a jackal. We'll worry about them now. And I'm going to throw a grenade and try to take these guys out without wasting too much ammo. So the assault rifle is not a terrible weapon in Halo Infinite, but it's just so inaccurate at long range that it makes it difficult to use. Um, at least I feel like it's difficult to use on the Legendary. We really just want to make sure that we can use weapons that kill the enemies quickly because we don't want to spend time more time than we need to on them. And there just happened to be a bunch of grunts right there, so I killed them. Immediately got a checkpoint as this guy looked at me, so that was kind of weird, and then killed him. And there's all these ammo boxes, as well as an audio log. So we'll pick that one up. And then we will um, try to stock up on ammo in here. So there's needlers and more pulse rifle ammo. So we have to worry about the dang hunters. And this is probably the hardest gun battery to disable. 
but not the longest. There is the second one I think might well be the longest. Uh, so once I actually disable a gun battery, I'm gonna just make a jump cut straight to the next gun battery because it's just more open world traversing and how you get there is gonna be totally different from how I got there. So there's no reason to show it, I think. And with those explosive boxes, we can pick those up and if they are direct hits, they will do quite a lot of damage to the hunters. But these things are just so dang strong. I don't have a skewer, I don't have heavy weapons, and if this is just too, like, annoying for you, then don't feel like you can't return to a fob and get some heavy weapons, get some marines, and come back later. Some of these enemies might respawn. I don't know if they all respawn when you do, um, but it's still gonna be easier when you have, like, a whole pack of marines and a warthog with some heavy weapons than if you're trying to kill them with a dang pulse rifle. So I thought I could just kill this guy with uh, throwing those cubes at him, but it just really was not working too well. I mean, I think that was, like, three cubes I hit him with, and that's normally enough to kill any of the other enemies in the game. <laughs> Even some bosses die in one hit to the cubes, but not the hunters, no. Might just be also because of their giant shield on their front side. And they are relentless. I mean, in the other Halo games, you could sneak around enemies a little bit. You can't really sneak around hunters. They know right where you are immediately, and if you're really far away, they still shoot you, and they are dead accurate. Like, these guys are super hard to not die to. It's really, you have to keep moving, you have to let your shields regenerate. You're not even really safe in this area because their, shart, their shots, my goodness, their shots arc around and they will hit you from above. <laughs> I mean, it's, it's a frustrating experience sometimes, but I think I died enough times, I finally realized I'm gonna pick up a needler. I'm gonna pick this up because I think I got that hunter close enough to dying. Uh, no, not quite yet. I think that guy is one hit from dying from one of those boxes, but I missed that time. So we're gonna come up here, and they're a little bit separated, so that's helpful. And we're just gonna try to abuse the grapple hook to get us somewhat close. And I'm gonna try to get on top again, I think. I don't actually- yeah, there we go. Got a checkpoint, because why not? And that hunter did in fact die, it looks like, so there's still enemies I haven't killed somehow. <laughs> We're gonna take them out, we don't want them throwing grenades at us. And then we'll worry about the hunter again. Plus, they, the grunts tend to drop needler ammo, which I really need. And then we're just gonna aim for this guy. And hunters are also super finicky, sometimes they charge you, and sometimes they sit still and they barely move, but... There we go, after much effort and probably overcomplicating matters, they're finally dead. I think it's better just, I think the best way really is just to get a needler and just dump it into them until they die. And try not to miss, you know, <laughs> pulse your needler if you have to, don't waste your ammo. And then there's going to be more enemies deeper inside here. So there's these explosive boxes everywhere, we could destroy them if we want to, I'm going to leave them alone. Then we can turn off the battery. So we're going to have to run inside, and uh, each time we're in here, there's going to be a mini cutscene and also another frozen screen. I don't really know why it was so bad in this area. I think it's just because my frame rate is not consistent, and NVIDIA Shadowplay doesn't seem, or whatever they call it now. It used to be called Shadowplay, but anyway, they, uh, <laughs> they don't seem to know how to handle variable frame rate too much. Plug me in and I'll take care of the cannon. They call this security, please. Hold tight. I'll handle it. The UNSC lost this war months ago. Your people are broken, scattered, hunted, defeated by me. I wish I could tell you it was difficult. This 
What is it? I was hoping you'd know the answer to that one. I'm new, remember? Okay, I'm done here. Okay, once the long monologue is over, we have to blow up Good. the energy the cell or whatever the heck that is, and that will destroy the gun battery. So there's the jump cut. We are walking over to the second one, and that's kind of cutting out a lot of open world traversal, but same thing, just pick a battery and run to it. This particular one at the bottom of this cliff has a... Uh, has an elevator and I hijacked a ghost that was driving around and I drove it onto the elevator So it's gonna help out a little bit because there's some tough enemies immediately from the start here But you don't have to come up this elevator There's all kinds of pathways we can walk up if we want to do it a an easier way or a, a smoother way Maybe <laughs> I don't actually know it's legendary. It's all hard doesn't matter too much But the ghost does help because if you can take out like four enemies and a ghost then that's four enemies You didn't have to spend your normal gun ammo on you know and there's the other battery in the background, so there's no hunters here. It's just brutes and other regular enemies. I think some snipers, maybe. I'm gonna try not to get hit too much by them. And uh, we don't have to worry about hunters or any boss fights until all the batteries are done. So the next boss fight is actually two bosses. It's going to take place in the next video. And it's probably one of the most frustrating bosses I have ever fought in my entire life. And it's actually too... Like, it's hard enough that I almost expect them to make it easier in the future. But I really hope they don't, because I don't want to have to have suffered for nothing. <laughs> and it's legendary. Legendary is supposed to want to make you uninstall the game and play something else. And they did a very good job of that with the next boss fight. So, there's not a whole lot else for me to really mention in the video. It's more of us doing the same thing that we've already Already done so I think I'm gonna stop talking here and I will continue in the next part which goes over the upcoming bosses lift to this gun needs to be powered on too. Look for a power source nearby.
second AA gun is open for business. And by open, I mean... Let's go. I'm on it. It's probably going to trigger again. But don't worry, we'll be out of here in... How many Spartans remain? Do you even know? There would have been 50 at Laconia Station, maybe more such loss. Do you feel it in your heart? Does it leave a hole? <sighs> Atriox was my finest recruit. He understood sacrifice and when one is necessary, I honor his memory. Each day, when our enemy rises, we meet their challenge. It is why I created the Hand of Atriox. I found the best, the cruelest, the most efficient killers in the universe, and taught them how to be better. to kill you. I'm done here. Now it's your turn. And cue the lockdown. Huh. No Escherum? I'm almost disappointed. Almost. All set. Let's get back to the Pelican. We did it!